Hey folks, this is a man once again coming at you with a, a film I actually really liked and I want to thank Ben X this one for sending me this because I guess in the US for some reason the VHS DVD of this film is is cut by a couple minutes. It's nothing that graphic. It's just like simple I think there's a couple of teeny scenes where it's, they did someone just punch in the face or something. For some reason, it's cut out, and I have no idea why. Cause it's nothing that graphic. I don't know if the distributor just fucked up or what, but overseas, it's all in tats. And so, if you want tough and deadly like that, this is a DVD to get. And this isn't even the right cover for tough and deadly. This is a cover for the previous Roddy Piper Billy Blaine's film called Back in Action which is this film. Like, this is the right cover, but for some reason they put the same cover on Tough and Deadly, so I don't know why they did that. <coughs> and maybe I'll review Back in Action another day, but uh, Tough and Deadly, first off, is a lot better than this one, which I talked about, Towns of the Eagle. I think it's the better of the two Roddy Piper, Billy Blaine's films. I like Back in Action okay. May I get into I. <clears throat> but Tough and Daily, I thought, what, went at a much faster pace. I thought it had a little bit more to it, had a little bit more fun to it. Uh, they use, I thought it used Roddy Piper better than it did in Back in Action. Uh, the guy director is a guy named Steve Cohen, who he did Martial Law in 1990. <clears throat> Something called Devil in the Flesh in 1998. And... It was mainly like a second AD, and like back to school, armed and dangerous, second assistant director in Invasion USA, stuff like that. <clears throat> second unit director and One Man Justice, and Martial Art Law, second unit director Mission of Justice. But I thought he did a good job here. I thought he did a good job with this movie. Tough and Deadly, Billy Blanks is a guy who worked with the CIA. And long story short, he's having this meeting, and a bad guy, uh, one of them is Richard Norton, actually. Richard Norton, very accomplished martial artist, which, for some reason, he's a very accomplished martial artist. They put him in this film, but he's not in the film too much. He's in, like, two scenes. Then he just killed him, like, he's not the main bad guy? I'm like, that's kind of weird. You know, Richard Norton, I'm like, hey, I know that guy, and... Okay, he's in that one scene. Oh, now he's in. No, now he's dead. Oh, okay. It's just kind of strange, kind of weird. But Tough and Deadly, like I said, Billy Blaine's works with the CIA, and basically what happens is he, how do I put it, has a pretty good, decent action scenes. You know, fight scenes. I did Billy Blaine's is a great martial artist, and I think he does okay in the acting front in this. Kiss some ass. I think in the U.S. version, there's some stuff cut out. It did nothing graphic or anything, so I don't know why, but it's intact in, in this DVD version. Again, thanks to Ben X, this one, for sending me this, because I am a fan of this movie. I remember seeing this on VHS, and it was nice to see. It wasn't much graphic or anything, so I don't know why it was graphic. It must have been just a simple mistake or something. I don't know. It's very strange. <clears throat> but, uh... Kits a mask, kiss Richard Norton's ass, but then he just tranquilized. They need him alive, but they knock him out. Then we're introduced to Roddy Piper's character, and Roddy, I, again, I thought they used Roddy Piper better here. I, I like back in action, but I thought they used him better here in Tough and Deadly. Uh, he's a very fun character. He's a <clears throat> kind of a private dick. <laughs> he's chasing down this guy for a bounty. Beast of shit out of this one guy. He's chasing this guy. And he's like, you know, heavy set guy. The right pirate's like, come on, stop running or you don't have a stroke. Kits some ass. Gets the guy. Goes to the hospital. And at that time, uh, around that time, Billy Blaine's, he's still unconscious. They're going to do something to him again. He's in the car. He kits some ass. Kits a guy who falls through the window and under the car. And then ran. of course, it's going to be a dummy. But I like the fact that he kits a guy through the windshield who goes over the car and gets under the car. I thought that was cool. 
but he's still drugged up, but he's still, you know, car dis in a crash, gets unconscious, and he gets put to the hospital, the same hospital where Roddy Piper is taking this guy in, because, you know, Roddy Piper kicked his ass a little bit. <laughs> And Roddy Piper's curious about this guy because he's got chains on him, wondering, okay, he's another bounty, so on and so forth. He's like, okay, I'm going to take his prince. And when he does, there's a guy ready to kill Billy Blames. And I love... This is using Roddy Piper well at an action scene because he's not going to do fancy moves. He's not a martial artist. He's a wrestler. He's a, like, you know, use him in sort of a, a brawler. And he does, I love Roddy Piper, does a poo, poo, poo. There's like a double haymaker to the guy as the guy flies through the window. And later on, Billy Blanks wakes up and he happens to have amnesia, which I know is, I'm like, oh, that's convenient, but you know, okay, I'll let it go here. And I thought Billy Blaine's and Roddy Piper had some good chemistry. I thought they worked well together. I like that Roddy Piper seemed more useful in this in this movie. They use, like I said, they use him better, and he has some fun moments. Uh, like you know, trying to talk to Billy Blaine's, Billy Blaine's is not sure, and Roddy Piper leaves. Okay, fine. Fucking die then. <laughs> this is like okay, fucking die then. <laughs> that's a, that's his like Andy Lyon when he leaves the room. <coughs> And you have fun moments like when Roddy Piper's helping, but he knows he needs to get Billy Blanks out, and he's helping Billy Blanks regain his strength. He has some fun moments there. You have a fun moment where he finds out, like, even Billy Blanks himself finds out that they go to a bar, and Billy Blanks kicks some ass, and Billy Blanks says, I remember something. It's like, well, yeah, I know how to fight. <laughs> and Roddy Piper's, like, later on is, hey, you know, I was in real post. You know, teach me some of that. And they have fun, they start fighting each other, and they start, but in a playful way, they start fight, pushing each other, and each one sort of throws each other against the room. They kind of get into fun, sort of uh, competition on that. And I thought it was funny, I thought it was entertaining, uh, I laughed. <clears throat> I thought Roddy Piper had some good lines in it. <clears throat> and the plot, yeah, the plot is kind of wishy washy. Uh, James Karen from Returning Living Dead and stuff, he's here as the head of CIA. He's actually, he's a good guy. And he's wondering, you know, what's going on, what's going on. And you find out there's some bad guys in the CIA, and they want Billy Blanks for some reason, which I already forgot what the reason was they needed Billy Blanks alive and what they want him for. And Roddy Piper's hiding Billy Blanks and trying to find out what's going on. They have some good, you know, fight scenes, like, Roddy Piper also gets in a good fight scene in the bar. Like he's going to hit another guy. He's like, wait, 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 I just want my my stick, the one you were using to fight. <laughs> uh, I don't put the trailer down below. You'll see a little bit of that scene in the trailer. Just check the trailer down below. That's on Mike OCP's other channel, Action Pat Cinema, which has a bunch of action movie trailers. <clears throat> And then, you know, again, some fun action, fun chemistry, back and forth between Roddy Piper and Billy Blanks. And I was entertained. I enjoyed it. And you get to the ending where Billy Blanks finds out there's something going on, sort of like a depot, leaves. Roddy Piper finds out, chases after him. And it's kind of the same problem that I have with back in action. Although back in action, I have a few more problems, even though I like the film, I have a few more problems. But... They each have a problem where they don't really utilize Roddy Piper much in the third act. It goes more into Billy Blaine's, like his show. Just Billy Blaine's has much more fighting in the third act. You know, obviously I know he's a martial artist. He can do some really good moves. Oh yeah, before that, like I was saying, Richard Norton, there's a scene where, I like this bit where Roddy Piper put Billy Blaine's at one of Roddy Piper's friends and he had to leave. And somehow they knew... Well, you find out later how they knew Billy Blanks was there. Roddy Piper's friend gets killed. I like this idea that Billy Blanks takes some of the blood and makes it seem like he has a bullet wound in his head and pretends to be dead. I, I like that. I, I, I always thought, how come they don't do that in a movie? It's like, okay, let me do this and make them think I'm dead. I, th I like that idea. <laughs> then he kicks their ass. And Richard Norton, again, this is the second scene he's in. And it's not... 
a great fight. Because, again, Richard Norman and Billy Blaine's are really solid martial artists. They can get in the... You have a better fight scene than this. I mean, it's an okay fight scene, but it's not really great. And basically gets Richard Norton off the second story, and he falls, and that's it. So I'm like, okay, you, know, you could use Richard Norton more, including at the ending. I'm, that's why I thought he was going to be the bad guy when I first saw it. I mean, back on VHS. Um, so I thought that was strange. But in the third end, you know, Bill Blaze has some good action moments. Like him and a guy are shooting at each other, and he flies while, well, well, I say he flies while shooting. And Ryan probably doesn't get to do much, put a couple people in the sleeper hold. Like, he gets a gun, but then he never uses the gun. And then all of a sudden, he has like a, looks like a body armor type thing, which I don't know where he got. Is there, I don't know if there's stuff cut out, or stuff they were going to shoot. But I think they could use like Roddy Piper more like, he, he, Roddy Piper gets like a machine gun, he never uses it. I don't understand why. I'm, I'm kind of like, basically, it ends with him sneaking into a van that this guy leaves, and it, this van has all this coke and, like, cocaine, so Roddy Piper beats a shove and knocks him out and drives back with the van, while Billy Blaine's, he made a phone call, James Karen and the other good CIA guys get there, uh, Billy Blaine's gets some some good fights, some explosions, and you know, for a directed video film, you have some fun action. And Roddy Piper comes back, and Roddy Piper, James, Karen take Billy Blaine's to the hospital. They get on this helicopter, and the movie ends. Tough and Deadly, I think, if you like action films, it's a fun film. It's an entertaining film. I think Roddy Piper and Billy Blaine's work well together. I think they do find the act. Like Billy Blaine's, he's not a great actor. Not, not in the least. But he does okay in this film. And Roddy Piper has a lot of fun in the movie. Tough and Deadly. Uh, it was nice to see James Cameron there. Kind of a thankless role. Richard Orn. It's cool that he's in there. But he's not given much to do. I thought they could have used him more. But I like the bits of comedy. The bits of humor I should say. Uh, they have good chemistry together. Roddy Piper and Billy Blanks. I thought they worked well off each other. When the action's there, the fight's there, I thought, for the most part, they're pretty good. The ending, you got your explosions, your gunfire, some cool martial arts moves by Billy Blaine's. I just wish they were utilized Roddy Piper more in the third act. I think you could have done more with them, even if it's just with a gun or a machine gun. I think you could have done more with Roddy Piper. So, you know, the fact that he just kind of gives a sleeper holder a couple guys or punches one or two guys then sneaks in that van and drives back after everything else is done. It's like, mm. I think he could have been there with Billy Blanks and at least firing machine guns or something. I think they could have utilized Roddy Piper better in the third act, but this, this still doesn't kill the movie for me at all. I think Tough and Deadly, it's a fun movie. It's an entertaining film. If you like directed video action films, if you like Roddy Piper, if you like Billy Blanks, or if you like these kind of films, it's definitely worth a watch. I think... I think it's worth a look. It's a fun film. If you ever want it on DVD, get the one from overseas. That's this cover here because this has everything in tat, which, again, I don't know why they would cut out in the VHS in the U.S. and stuff. I have no idea. Just it's nothing graphic or bad about it, but whatever. Weird, weird things happen, but get the DVD that has this. Towns of the Eagle, I think, sucked, but Tough and Deadly, I think, is really good. Much better. It's, this is how you do it in a bad way. This is how you do it in a good way. You know, so. Uh, thanks once again, Ben, actually, this one for sending me this. I um, really love this movie. I really enjoy it. Again, Roddy Piper has a lot of fun moments, and him and Billy Blaine's a lot of fun back and forth and sequences, and a lot of good action, so. It's a fun time. It's a, I think it's a fun movie. But either way, thanks for watching. Take care. And stay tuned for more reviews later.